Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to 20 Days of Christmas. Today is day seven. I can't believe we're um, I'm finally getting <laughs> a little bit caught up. I still need to do two a day. Today we had our family Christmas. So um, I apologize for the lateness in the evening of this video, but um, we just got home a few minutes ago. And um, this morning when I was um, getting ready to go, I, re I thought, oh, I don't have anything to wear, believe it or not, as much as I sew. But I decided to make this um, tunic and it's uh, Ellie and Mac Breezy and I love it. And Ellie and Mac has all of their patterns on sale for 60% off this month. So you might wanna check them out. This is a, I'm gonna put a picture up here of the full length. It was just a, I mean, it was a breeze. It took me two hours from taping the, the pattern together to cutting it out to sewing it and having it hemmed first thing this morning so I could wear it to our family Christmas. And um, I don't know if you can see this pattern very well, but it is a Christmas pattern. I thought it wasn't when I bought it. I bought it for something else and did not realize that it was a Christmas pattern. And, um, but if you look really close, there are pine cones and candy canes and things in here. So it was real fun to wear today and I felt, um, dressed up and still comfortable. So I thought I'd show that to you. Trivia question. <laughs> I, I'm getting some good feedback on the trivia. I guess you guys like it. So I'm going to keep them rolling, even if they are corny sometimes. Um, but this one I think might be hard. Um, I asked my husband this one and he didn't know, so we'll see. What one of Santa's reindeers has the same name as another holiday mascot? All right, I'm going to let you chew on that a little while and I'll give you my answer at the end of the video. All right, so things we need to put photos on fabric. First, you need fabric. Um, I use white cotton, but you can use anything you want. I don't think there's really anything that won't work, um, but it should be pre-washed. Of course, if it's a different color than white, you know, everything's going to have a bit of a cast. So you just have to keep that in mind. Um, when I did the classic rock album, I used an off-white since that was brown and it worked out just fine. So, um, but today I have some white cotton and it's been pre-washed. And what you want to do is cut it in approximately the sizes that you want. Now, if you're going to do a five by five square, you want to make sure that it's plenty big enough because you're going to uh, manipulate these quite a bit. They're going to be ironed, so they may shrink a little bit. And um, also you want to be able to trim it um, exactly where you want the five inches to be. So um, make sure that they're large enough. Um, and uh but will also fit on freezer paper that will go through your printer now you can buy um just reynolds freezer paper and cut them which is what i did if you haven't noticed by now i'm kind of frugal when it comes to crafting i don't always buy the convenience stuff um i'm sure that there's paper out there that you can buy and just print the photos on you know it's actually fabric that you can put through your printer and um that's great but it's expensive so this is a less expensive way to do it and honestly i think that fabric has a weird feel to it so if you want that just regular you want it to feel like the rest of your quilt or whatever it is you're making um, go ahead and do this method it's much much less expensive um, so you want to make sure that whatever pieces you have are going to fit on a piece of paper that will a piece of freezer paper that will go through your printer now i did buy one convenience product um, because i was cutting the freezer paper with my paper cutter and that got very tedious so what i did was i got some of this um, quilters freezer paper and they're just pre-cut pieces of freezer paper um, at eight and a half by eleven so that'll go right through your printer um, much easier <laughs> So you need that, you need the, your um, cloth. You need gloves because the solution can be a little caustic and hard on your hands. So you don't want to really touch it with your bare hands. And then you need this solution. It's sort of 
the bottle kind of got crunched the last time. It's called Bubble Jet Set. Let me see if I can get the bottle to expand and look better. Well, it's permanently. Bubble Jet Set and um, to, Bubble Jet Set 2000. And I'll put a link to it below. They have it on Amazon. I think the last time I bought it, it was around $11. And um, you're able, this is the only one I've ever bought and it's only that much down. So, and I've done four quilts. So um, it goes a long, long, long way. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna take, and you're also gonna need some kind of a bin or um, something you don't care a lot about, um, but that you can put solution into and you've pre-washed your fabric. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're going to pour this into the bottom. Go ahead and cover the bottom. I just usually pour the whole thing in. And it just kind of covers the bottom of the pan. Now you're able to reuse this solution. So after you've soaked all your things, um, get a funnel and then put it back in the bottle and uh, it, it doesn't get dirty because you're just putting clean fabric in there So you can use this over and over again and you just lose a little bit each time is all um, And I've had this for three years and it's still working fine. So I Don't know if it has a shelf life. I don't see a stamp on it anywhere No, I don't I don't think it has an expiration date, but I guess if it wasn't working, that's when you know you'd have to buy some new. <laughs> so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my gloves on. And I'm going to soak these for 10 minutes. And I want to make sure to put them in one at a time and make sure they're all getting down in the liquid because you want them completely soaked. And just, you know, move them around, make sure that they all have, are saturated with the liquid. And go ahead and you know pick them up and wring them out to make sure that they're all getting plenty of every inch of the fabric is getting wet I'm not sure what the active ingredient is in these um, in the solution to um, allow it to be printed on but um it works really great i'm frugal enough that <laughs> if i could find out what the active ingredient was whoops sorry about that if i could find out what the active ingredient was i'd probably make it myself but it's really pretty cheap so there's no need all right i'm gonna let that soak now for 10 minutes at least um I usually do it for a little longer. A little longer doesn't hurt anything, and then you know for sure, for sure, that it's completely soaked. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that soak for a good 10 minutes, all right? And then while that's soaking, I'm gonna take my phone downstairs to where my fabric haul is and show you my haul from San Antonio. So while the bubble jet set is uh, soaking with the white fabric, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my fabric haul. I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. So um, a couple, I, this is from a couple different places. Most of it is from Fabriktopia in San Antonio. Um, but I did get a few other things on Cyber Monday and whatnot. So this is Red Ponte. I got four yards of it. And it's from Joanne. And it's really a nice Ponte. I'm gonna make um, a Christmas dress. I'm gonna do the new Pattern for Pirates gala gown um, with this, I think, um, for Christmas. And I think it's gonna look really nice. So that is, um, I got four yards, it was $3.99 a yard. So that was a really good deal on, that was a Cyber Monday deal. 
I was still in Texas, but I just ordered them, ordered it to pick up here. So um, that made our suitcase a little bit lighter because it got pretty full. <laughs> we always take an empty suitcase with us, but um, we did have quite a bit of fabric coming back this time. <laughs> this is also um, from Joanne and it's a doodles um, interlock with horses, this horse print. Um, and I think um, this is gonna be for one of my granddaughters who uh, loves horses. They went with us to Texas. Well, they drove, we flew, they drove. And on the way down, they stopped in Oklahoma at a friend's house and um, my seven-year-old granddaughter, Ada, got to ride um, a mini horse and she fell in love with horses right then and there. So when I saw this, I thought, I need to do something for her with this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I got, I think, I got two yards of it. So it could be a dress or it could be a cardigan. I'm not really sure yet. Whatever the mood strikes me when I go to make it. <laughs> um, this is boring, but necessary. This is easy knit interfacing and you all know what I do with that, right? I, I cut it into strips and make my own so keasy stuff. Um, I got this and it'll make quite a bit and I, I might also need it for a few knit projects as well, um, I think. This was $2.98 a yard, which is a really good deal. That was at Fabriktopia. I got a shipment from Minerva the other day with this beautiful purple twill, which is going to be some kind of pants or skirt for me. Um, there'll be a Minerva blog post on that one. Kind of excited about doing that. I think I'm looking more towards spring when I make that. Um, it's a more of a spring weight bottom. The next two are from So So English. Um, I ordered from their Cyber Monday sale and they just came the other day. This is a butterfly French terry. Really pretty. I love this. I really want to make a hoodie for myself. Um, then I just keep seeing other patterns, um, like this breezy. I, I love this. I, I want to make a bunch of these. Um, I love this pattern. And I know there's tons of other patterns out there that they have just, you know, that I haven't tried yet. So might be a hoodie, might be something else. I'm very non-committal with this haul because I really don't know what I'm going to do um, until the mood strikes me right now. I have so many projects for Christmas rolling around in my head right now that I just can't think that far ahead. <laughs> and anyway, this is also from So So English. This is Double Brush Poly. Um, the color is called Blush and I think it's just beautiful. And um, this kind of reminds me of something my oldest granddaughter would wear. So this might end up being something for her. Um, maybe even for Christmas. I, I always make the Christmas jammies, but, and then, then I usually always made them an outfit and that was just too much because there's six of them now. So what I do is, um, now I say, you know, if I have the time, I will make them something. And then it's just not a, not a crunch time thing. So, um, so what I do is I just kind of make, if I have the time, I make more if, because I just, it's just too much crunch time and I want to enjoy it. I don't, I would rather just make things for them throughout the year um, than to get stressed at Christmas, which is what happened last year. So um, it might end up being for Christmas, but it also might not. <laughs> the rest of this fabric haul is from San Antonio at Fabriktopia. And um, if you've never been there um, and you visit San Antonio, you should definitely go and, um, I have done a video walkthrough of that place um, and I'll put a link to my video of my tour of the store. They've even expanded a little bit more since that I did that video. Um, every time I go, they have another room. <laughs> so it was wonderful. It was Black Friday and they had a table of fabric that was still on rolls and it was a dollar a yard and it was good fabric. Um, you just had to see, you know, what of it you wanted. And I could have, I could have bought a lot more, <laughs> but I had to keep in mind that I, one, only had so much money and two, I had to be able to bring it home in our extra suitcase. So I didn't, you know, I, I, I still went pretty crazy, but. So this is, um, I'm not really sure what the make of it is. It feels like a, it's a crepe. 
Uh, really nice. Um, this will be some kind of blouse. Um, I asked my husband if he wanted a Hawaiian shirt out of this, and he just said no. He thought it was too feminine. <laughs> I don't know. But um, that's fine by me because I love it. So I'll make myself a, some, some kind of blouse out of this. It's a woven, lightweight. It'll be nice spring. Um, and you had to buy at least three yards of the stuff on the rolls. So this was $3. There's three yards. I probably have enough to do two things with it. Um, so maybe I'll do something now and then wait and do something else with it down the road when that I get tired of that. Um, this is a double brush poly. Um, this was not on the dollar table, but they had another sale going of double brush poly for $5.99, which is really a good, good price for that. So um, I love this. I want, I want to just like wear this all the time. It's the most comfortable, soft fabric imaginable. I love it. Not sure again what I'm going to do with this. Um, maybe a summer dress. We'll see. This is um, a solid cotton lycra. And this was on a table that was $2.50 a yard. And again, I bought, how much of this did I buy? I bought two and a half of this. So I have a good amount to do some kind of top, good solid top. Lots of these would, like this would really coordinate with that really well, I think. Um, this is peach skin. And if you've ever felt peach skin fabric, it's like a microfiber and it's just luscious to wear. It's so soft and silky, it's a woven. Um, again, a blouse of some kind. I'm not sure what pattern. I did, um, I did want to make a while back the Cynthia blouse. It's spelled with an S, Cynthia. Um, it had like ruffles here and then down the sleeves. It's just beautiful. Um, I might, maybe I'll do that. That definitely, because there's so much going on with that top, a solid would look really nice. And this is the same fabric, only in black. And um, I love black blouses. Um, I guess it cuts the photographer in me because we always, doing weddings, always had to have nice black tops. So I automatically sometimes gravitate toward that because a lot of my dress clothes are black. Um, but I do like a, a nice solid black um, top or dress so that there's three yards of this because this was on the dollar table. So was the peach skin. This was on the dollar table. I cannot believe it was. This is corduroy and it's a really pretty little green and brown diamond print. Um, I'm looking at a jumper for this. Um, maybe the Helen's Closet, um, the pinafore, the York pinafore, I think it is, maybe. Um, I think a pinafore would be, look really nice with this. Put that with a cream colored turtleneck. Oh, it would look really nice. Um, this one is a double brushed poly. This was also $5.99. And I bought um, three yard, two yards of this um, to have for, oh, it looks we're having a visitor here. Here. She's camera shy, I guess. That was my, my puppy. Um, that's my iri. I have two golden retrievers and um, they're my, oh, they just light up my life. They're just wonderful dogs. But I think she just, she got camera shy, so she went away. I'd love to show her to you. Anyway, this is a Dumbo print. Um, and I love having something on hand that I can make a baby gift with, and, which is why I bought this. Um, and it's, it's really hard to find like appropriate stuff to make a baby boy gift. Little girls are much easier. <laughs> so this would work really well for a little boy. So I, not that I think we're having any babies in my family anytime soon, but you know, when friends have babies and stuff, it's nice to, you know, use like that, um, patterns for pirates, uh, 
like layette set that they have um, and just make some stuff. So it's nice to have something on hand. This was on the dollar table. This is stretch lace and it's white. It's a nice stretchy lace. And I think what I'm going to do with this is make a new bathing suit cover up for Mexico. So, um, yeah, I've been looking at a couple different patterns for bathing suit cover ups and, um, I'm not sure which one yet, but I think I'll make a new one for that. I have a, a lot of this too, because you had to buy three yards. So, I mean, I might be able to even make a couple. All right, this is gauze. This was also on the dollar table. Yellow gauze, is this gorgeous color or what? I love this color. Um, this will definitely be some kind of a summery blouse, maybe. Um, well, hi, Minnie, come see, come see. Come here. This is my Minnie. Say hi, say hi, say hi. Anyway. Yes, you don't want dog hair on the fabric. <laughs> this, I think I, a Rhapsody or um, some kind of a flowy peasanty blouse like this, I think it would look really nice with this. You see this haul? <laughs> I told you it was big. Okay, this is my, I don't know, I just had to have it find. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. It's almost, it's, uh, it's spandex like a swimwear spandex, but it's actually panels. Let's see if I can open one up. So they're panels. Now my thought was to do a bathing suit somehow using the flower up here and then this dotted part down here. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but I don't know, I had to have it. And there's like four yards of this. So I think it could be a bathing suit and then maybe a, like a, a wrap skirt to put over it. I don't know. Um, you have to be careful how you do it though because they are panels. So they have a, like there's a line down the middle in between the panels here, you can see it here. And um, so you have to really cut the pieces you know, you have to be mindful of that when you cut the pieces, but it's just so pretty. I love the colors and I think it'd make a nice vacation something or another. <laughs> this will be in Mexico. <laughs> and one last but not least, if you know me, you know, I, this is Double Brush Polly and ah, Mickey. <laughs> so this is, this is not for my grandkids. This is for me. I want a Mickey shirt. So I bought, I think, two and a half yards. I'm not sure what kind of shirt I'm gonna make with it, but it will be delightful because I love Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so anyway, that is my haul from San Antonio. You can see why we needed the extra suitcase. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll be seeing this throughout the year, I'm sure. It's gonna take me a while to get through that. And you see how stacked the shelves are behind me usually when I tape, so. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize all of that, but um, after Christmas, it, that what I have up there will be down a little bit and I should be able to fit it all in there. So anyway, um, so that's it, that's my haul. So now I'm gonna take you back upstairs. It's been, um, I don't know how many minutes, but it's been plenty long enough that our um, white fabric has been soaking in the solution and um, we'll go up and uh, see how it is. Okay, so our solution has been soaking for um, probably a good 15, 20 minutes, which is great. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pieces and you're just gonna wring them out really well. And then we're just gonna lay them out to dry. And I usually just put a table, like a plastic tablecloth down and just lay them on there. Um, I have a ceiling fan in here. So what I do a lot of times is I just turn my ceiling fan on um, overnight and then in the morning they're all dry and ready to go. 
So just wring them out and then lay them out to dry. This is why you want to wear gloves. This stuff's caustic. It'll really break your hands out. So you definitely don't want to put your bare hands in there um, unless you have uh, hands of steel. It's good exercise for your hands too. <laughs> Okay. All right. So the next thing you're going to do after you have these all laid out is just go ahead and pour what's left back into the bottle. And you'll likely see that you have not used very much at all. And then you can save this for next time. All right, so I will be back tomorrow. I'm gonna let these dry overnight. Tomorrow we will go ahead and um, iron them to the freezer paper and um, print the photographs on them. The answer to our trivia question today, what reindeer shares the same name as another holiday mascot. Anyway, the answer is Cupid. There's a Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid. There you go. And it's also, he is also a Valentine's Day mascot. So he shares, they share a name. So anyway, that's a little bit of Christmas trivia for you. Have a wonderful day. I had a very blessed day with my family today. Um, I gave my mother-in-law the Blackwood cardigan that I made for her that I filmed and will be our next sew along for Friday Sewing School um, with the lace overlay. So um, someone asked me to demonstrate that. So I um, have filmed that whole process. So we'll be having that after the men's shirt sew along. We'll be um, doing that. So anyway, lots of plans, lots of fun. So, so I'll see you tomorrow and we'll keep on with our exciting photo project. Have a wonderful evening and um, happy sewing and Merry Christmas. <laughs>